Okay, we are about to talk about my last five days, seven days with the MSB Select 2. Welcome back guys, please subscribe, hit that like button, do not forget to turn on your notifications so that you are informed each time I release a new video. Guys, you have seen my introduction of the MSB Select 2 DAC and it has been quite an impressive component. Many of you have been quite impressed by the last three videos that I have released where you can hear and very clearly I must say the improvements that my system has made I mean you can literally grab your phone and listen to it on speaker right through your phone and you're able to capture the impressiveness the clarity the resolution of this system behind me now of course this system is yes extremely extremely expensive Boulder 3060 that's right around $142,000 today because Boulder did have a price increase effective April 1st. The Boulder 2110 is now $72,000. So right there, we're talking north of 200 grand in two components. You add the $105,000 select two and you're up or upwards of $300,000. That doesn't take in consideration the transparent opus speaker cables the transparent reference xl generation 6 interconnects i wanted to give you a couple of uh data points if you will so you guys have heard the system without a music server and i think we can all agree that the system has been quite special incredible to say the least some may even argue actually some of you guys have even texted me claiming that this is the best system I have had in my room, period. Now, remember, we're not talking about components, individual components. We're talking about the system as a whole. A lot of you guys have texted me to tell me, as a whole, as a system, this system behind me is the best they have heard on YouTube. Do I agree? Maybe that's a topic for a future video. For now, what I need to tell you guys is the fact that the MSB reference, and I'll repeat what I already said, is one amazing component. It is an expensive DAC. There is no lying in that. But I'm gonna tell you something. Recently, I was using absolutely no music server with those on those three videos that you guys heard. And I finally got around to connecting the Tyco Extreme that you see here right now with some great cables, even with the Ether Regen uh, device. And of course, I am using a very quality transparent Opus power cord. And I must say, guys, that my expectation was the same expectation that you guys have, which is, hey, if it sounds this great, connected into a router with no special ethernet with an ethernet that you can buy at your local gas station or supermarket and it sounds this great then it has to get a hell of a lot better once we connect the Taiko extreme music server i proceeded to connect the music server with everything you guys just saw all the cables uh, great usb cable great power cord great ethernet cable and guys, I am in shock. I, I really just, I don't, I mean, I really do not know how to articulate this to you guys. But the reality is that there is absolutely zero difference. I cannot hear any difference by using the Taiko Extreme connected into the Select 2. None. Um, I don't know if some of you guys who own the Select 2 
also have that same uh, result. But I am going to tell you guys, I have tried great speaker cables. I have rotated two different types of speaker cables. I have rotated cables around to see if I can pick up the differences. And the truth is, guys, if there is any difference, I can't seem to pick it out. I can't seem to extract the change, if at all, of the sound by using a Takeo Extreme. You heard it from me. Right now, I think that the Select 2 is built at such a high level that it negates anything that's coming in. It doesn't seem to benefit right now from anything connected to it. It does a hell of a job as a standalone DAC. All it needs is essentially a Rune and a cheap Ethernet cable connected into your router. That's all it needs, guys. And then you can have fun with it and you can be sure that you have one of the best presentations that you can possibly get when it comes to streaming. Now, of course, this is not a knock against the Takeo machine. That is not what this video is about. This is a video only to highlight the impressiveness of this Select 2 DAC, the incredible engineering and all the work that has been done to get this machine to sound this good. I'm a believer that at some point, uh, Takeo is going to probably, or Emil for over at Takeo, is probably going to come out with a different connector or something else that will elevate the performance of the Select 2. As you guys know, I am a huge advocate. I am a huge fan of the Takeo Extreme music server because it is modular. They can easily release new connections. They can easily put brand new boards to really make this machine even better. Um, but when I had this Takeo Extreme with different DACs, the difference was impressive. Um, I, I gotta say, with the reference, it took it to a whole new level. With the Select, it is not happening. Um, but I am sure that as time goes on, um, I am going to try a different music server, which might be the Orender N30SA. So, I don't know if I'm going to get that in the near future, but if it comes this way, I am going to give you feedback as to whether I hear any difference using a different music server. Now, keep in mind, okay, that just because there is a change in tonality in the sonics of the presentation of the DAC by using a, use, a music server does not mean that it is equivalent to a better presentation. Please, guys, remember, change is not always an indication of a positive improvement with audio. I keep talking to you guys in my consultation service. Learn to differentiate the difference between positive change and negative change, okay? Many times we are all fooled by the fact that a component can come in and change the way something sounds, and we think that, wow, something sounds a hell of a lot better something sounds different, but the reality is this new acquired sound due to whatever you did isn't really a direct representation of an improvement to your system. I've learned this the hard way with certain footers and certain tweaks. Um, I don't embark on fuses because to be honest with you guys, I go through too much equipment I don't have the time to be swapping fuses. I don't have the time to, do, to be doing all of that legwork because I never stick to one system. Those tweaks are for people who have one system and one system only, and they're pretty much not gonna be changing gear the way I do. Now, in addition to that, I know you guys are probably wondering what is that product underneath those black blankets well folks get ready because that is the new product that i am going to be endorsing and that i am going to be representing i have been doing a lot of testing for probably two three weeks now 
understanding the product, reading the manual, reading everything about the product that you can possibly imagine. I can assure you, when the time comes, you guys will be extremely, extremely impressed. I am not ready to tell you just yet what it is. What I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing else like it, and it has taken my system to a whole new level. You guys have actually been hearing the system over the last three videos using that product. Yes. So, before I say what it is, we are going to go through a comparison, an A and B comparison of the system so that you guys can hear the differences, you know, the impact, the positive impact that this has on my system. And let me tell you something, it is positive. Guys, I can't wait to meet you all at Expona in about two weeks. Can't meet, I can't wait to shake hands. Please come up to me, ask me questions. Um, and maybe I think OCD Mikey and I were talking about perhaps doing a Q and A um, with all of you, perhaps finding a room or a location, a secret location somewhere where you guys can drill us with questions. Um, and I think it would be an interesting video for the masses, okay? Please guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to support me. I am here only giving you an interesting update about living with the MSB Select 2 DAC, a DAC that has completely redefined my take on the ultra high-end audio. Until next time, peace.